Indian kitchen is such a challenge from selecting countertops to selecting the kind of colors, the shutters, all of that. And by the time you get to the selection of the backsplashes, you're absolutely exhausted. Sounds familiar, right? Hello and welcome. I am Mayuri and I'm back again at the My Tiles Experience Center in Bangalore. Today we are talking about kitchen backsplashes. My Tiles is one of India's first online retailers of tiles. From trusted brands to rare, delicate finds from all around the world, now you can shop from the comfort of your home. Visit mytiles.com now. Today there are so many varieties of kitchen backsplashes, you'll be spoiled for choice and also it can be superbly overwhelming. It happens to me all the time, but relax, I'm going to hand over lots of tips and tricks in this particular segment with you and we'll make it super easy. You will be hearing about so many new collections, more and more collections in 2024 that you will actually be waiting for them and you know what? The ninth one that I'm going to be talking about is my personal favorite. So definitely hang in there to know what is that. So let me take you to the first option, which is the two by one geometric kitchen backsplash tiles. Uh, these are available. These geometric pattern ceramic tiles are available in Indian as well as important brands at my tiles. And when you look at the finishes, they are in glossy as well as matte. Now, uh, when you look at the geometric patterns, when we're talking about them, what kind of geometric patterns can you expect? It ranges from all kinds, you know, hexagon, brick patterns, fish scales, all of that. So this one is actually a fish scale that we're looking at. And I'm going to quickly walk you through the entire collection so that you are, you know, definitely uh, going to be thinking about them later today. So for example, uh, let's look at this particular. So now let me show you the entire collection over here very quickly. Uh, so we are looking here at, at the herringbone pattern, which is, uh, you know, laid in the form of a two by one tile. Very, very popular for kitchen backsplashes, mimics a subway tile pattern. Very interesting. So this is one of the popular ways uh, that is the stack bond pattern that you see over here. Again, stunning colors. Look at these beautiful deep blues, nice sea greens that you're looking at. And then of course, this beautiful lattice pattern also, which has been laid over here. You have these amazing, again, a very different kind of hexagon pattern to look at, multi colors, so much out there to complement your cabinets, right? Like there's literally a huge variety. Now let's look at the next one. Again, uh, if you're somebody who likes a lot of minimalism and likes that, you know, uh, touch of uh, say, uh, pastels like you know beautiful uh, pinks blushes nice neutral this really cool gray over here beige gray over here again lot of these beautiful you know blues and greens this is something that you could go it's a very very hot and pattern of laying tile so stack bond you literally have ready and you just have to implement it next one that we're looking at is again stack bonds different ways here they have actually even made it two or three toned very interesting combination if you're somebody who likes a lot of blues and skews towards them, then this is the kind of blue that you could actually go for. Now we're looking at... So again, like I spoke about was hexagons over here. So look at these hexagons over here. So interesting, right? A lot of black and white that is very, very popular in this category because it really brings that boldness out from your walls. But this one, it's subtle yet very interesting to look at. So you have these really nice, almost like a marble look or a, a dirty pore look that's going on over here. And this is also very, very popular. And lastly, and very interesting pattern, and I, I don't think I have spoken enough about it. This is a fish scale pattern. Very popular, you know, if you're trying to have a butcher block kind of a countertop and you want to add that color to give it natural elements, right? So this kind of teal green or combinations are of, of it or if you want to go a little bit more sunny in your uh, kitchen, you could use these amazing, beautiful uh, geometric patterns, the fish scale patterns if you come looking for it. 
you can definitely look it up online or in store so another really amazing category in the colors combinations right that i was talking about that they actually uh, span from ivory white to teal candy floss you also have another category which is the metallic category in that you will be able to find these similar tiles in 2 by 1 in say gold silver gun metal gray so this is also very interesting it's the combination of so many colors with combination of so many patterns that makes it extremely popular and with the ease of installation i think it's just a king of you know uh, in this category so now i have to come back to you about the fact that you know why are these styles so popular so two by ones like i had said shared with you earlier that they mimic the pattern of the subway tiles or individual fish scales over here right now imagine the effort and the effort of grouting between each tile that might take so if you are either uh, you know you feel like there might be a budget constraint or you think that you know you have a time constraint also and or just generally for the ease of cleaning also if you feel that this is something which you would want to look at it's very easy to install because you're just taking the entire thing and creating a panel of that particular pattern also if you look at the grouting need over here right it's a lot of grouting that needs to be done by the tile layer same here if you look at this these have to be laid in a particular fashion if they were individual backsplashes and we'll talk about those individual tiles later but if you are looking at something which is little bit more seamless more easy to clean and all then this is something that you must go for because you will see how quickly they get installed and they can easily amp up the space with almost the similar effect that an individual tile of course that is more in intricate but this also works for a lot of people so to your own needs you can look for this particular thing as well so now we're talking about another popular category within the kitchen backsplash that is the moroccan kitchen backsplashes within the moroccan kitchen backsplashes we're now looking at a huge variety in the floral prints they are extremely popular and if you're looking to create that bohemian abode or you know a very very fun kitchen these are some really beautiful prints to look at i mean just look at the colors the you know the the natural the close to nature kind of color palettes that you're looking at with a lot of browns greens you know even if you look at these over here look at how just absolutely nature speaking to you through these tiles right so this is something which is very very interesting so now i'm going to walk you through the entire collections of moroccan uh, backsplashes kitchen backsplashes uh, if you're looking over here see these are some amazing color combinations that you can see uh, in the moroccan tiles ranging from floral floral inspired designs geometric designs and just you know if you're a very black and white minimalistic person you would absolutely love it if you are somebody who is looking to know more about moroccan tiles we have created an exclusive moroccan tile video which uh, for which the link is uh, linked in the description below so do definitely go and check it out if you want to know more and see i mean you look at these tiles over here let me show you something over here see uh if you if you look at closely all these tiles right just think from a concept perspective you could actually mix and match it with so many shutters in your you know your cabinet shutters you can pair them up look at the color the interest it is going to bring into your kitchen so again very very interesting concepts you know if you like a little bit more traditional you can probably pick up these kind of moroccan tiles a little bit more uh, modern but you still want to keep some traditional elements and this is a great choice a lot of grays teals and citruses colors in the within the color category get asked for when people walk in or reach out so this is again something that you may want to you know consider so again we are looking at some larger prints over here you know uh, in terms of how you can apply these so now i wanted to talk to you about somebody who really likes a little bit of bling or a lot of high color definition kind of back splashes right somebody like that can actually go for these kind of third fired moroccan tiles uh, one very good thing about these is that because they have a vitrified finish they actually are stain resistant and especially in the indian kitchen where we are used to making curries that you know 
may leave stains these are something really easy to maintain come closer and have a look at this beautiful patterns with some really interesting you know metallic uh, uh, finishes over here you can also look at say uh, if you like something a little bit more modern contemporary again something which is really interesting the definition of the pattern or the print on these are really really great because they're third fired and hence they are also falling into uh, a slightly premium category but i mean i honestly think that a, that most of the clients never regret using these paying that extra premium because they really really do deliver that kind of value in your kitchen bag splashes so now we are looking at the third option within the category of kitchen bag splashes that i wanted to show you today this one is the marble inspired or marble finish a vitrified kitchen bag splash tiles they are in the size of 2 by 4 feet and they work really well for kitchens uh, especially if you're trying to do a very quick upgrade in your kitchen or a quick renovation with just two tiles you can actually uh, fill the entire kitchen backsplash because the kitchen backsplash average height is about 2 feet so when you're looking at this this 2 feet actually with this kind of length you can within 2 or two and a half or three tiles your entire kitchen backsplash will be done you will be having a quick uh, kitchen ready for you if you have a bigger uh, kitchen then you can also go in these finishes you can actually go uh, to say 8 uh, feet or a 10 feet kind of a bigger tile and that can be cut and used into these sizes for a bigger kitchen uh, what are the popular finishes or designs or patterns in this that you come across they call a satwario which is another uh, similar looking but different uh, in terms of the patterns or the lines the veins that you see in this particular pattern then there is karara there is botticino uh, there is calcutta very interesting ones i'm going to show you them exactly which one is calcutta or which one is satwario in those really big 8 feet or 10 feet panels so let's get going there so here now we are looking at an 8 by 4 feet uh, slab of this particular tile this is a satwario which has the tones of slight blacks and a little bit of gray and a ve like very very nice browns over here that you can see almost mimicking a very beautiful marble so something if you like something really subtle you can do that uh use this particular one as your backsplash here when we look at it this is actually mimicking an exact uh marble finish over here again this is a variety of a satwario uh marble uh you know look over here glossy finish that one was also glossy finish there's some onyx as well over there uh so if you look at these uh this is a glossy satwario there is another one which is a bit more whiter and with a gray uh you know a uh, gray tone over here the veins are really wide over here some of the veins were really thin if you go further this is the same same satwario but in matte finish so if you are somebody who loves matte against glossy then you can actually make that decision same pattern everything is same if you see even the grains are almost same what is this this is a matte finish and this is a glossy finish so with this one panel you will be able to finish off the entire kitchen and you know if you have a bigger one so if you have like an l shaped or a big galley shaped one u shaped kitchen you'll be able to finish it off with just one particular slab and that's it done and dusted your beautiful marble finish kitchen mimicking a quartz feel will be done in a jiffy so now as we have looked at all the varieties options there are a couple of things that i wanted to remind you about these tiles is one because of their size right 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 feet they are really really easy to install and without much grouting needed so the lot of effort that goes into grouting totally gets removed you have a very seamless look of the backsplash because there's such big big uh, sizes if you put a 2 by 4 next to a 2 by 4 you're just making a grouting line in the center which is also can be paper joint so that there's absolutely seamless effect uh in bigger say columns if you have like on the walls that you want to cover you will actually don't need to cut a lot and you can actually just take them and place them uh interestingly if you are wanting to go smaller for some reason you also get 2 by 1 in these 
kind of uh, you know finishes uh, but they are available in ceramic ones they are also available for the similar purpose if you like that kind of uh, finish and type you can definitely go ahead for ceramic tiles with marble finishes in it as well so the black and white tiles which is the fourth category that i'm going to be talking to you about today is an alluring one of out of the entire one because they are also also very very popular because of the simplicity and the repetitiveness in their patterns these beautiful black and white tiles come in three sizes mostly 8 by 8 12 by 12 inches and 24 by 24 inches uh, when you look at the finishes they are available in ceramic and vitrified and also like just from a finish perspective you will have double fired versus third fired now the difference between them very quickly i'm going to share is a triple fired is fired in the tin for the third time so when they're fired for the third time the designs become extremely high definition and they also become stain free stain resistant so that makes them really really superior compared to a double fired one and therefore if budget is not a huge constraint you know you are uh, always proposed to go for or i suggest that you go for uh, you know third fired tiles versus second fired or two double fired ones because they really do uh, will provide you with the longevity that you're looking at and you know the definition of colors the vibrancy of these colors now let me quickly show you a couple of these uh, beautiful designs over here that you see they're mostly geometric minimalistic right look at these over here very beautiful patterns minimalism and if you like a little bit of floral uh, you know femininity to these designs you can see that as well i mean look at these this is a beautiful floor dele pattern over here very very beautiful french european inspired designs that are here uh, you also have some very nice contemporary ones if you're a very 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 minimalistic kind of look that you want to go you can go for these as well so these black and white tiles really really shine through these were of course 12 by 12 i'll quickly show you uh, you know uh, 2 by 2 feet which is 24 by 24 inches as well so we just saw the floor de lis pattern which was this pattern in one by one here we are looking at a 2 by 2 much larger section of the same thing the print being flowing repetitively over here uh, this is again a very good application in kitchen backsplashes lesser uh, grouting because you're not being you will not be grouting over here so you know this is also a very interesting convenient pattern size that you can actually choose within this particular pattern i'll also show you an 8 by 8 against this one right now to compare sizing between the two so now we're looking at an 8 by 8 against a 2 by 2 over here almost similar patterns these two have uh, but what I'm trying to really share with you by this is that if you go for an 8 by 8 inches tile versus that of a 2 feet by 2 feet tile, the amount of effort, the grouting effort that you will have to put in will be more. And since your backsplash height average on an average is 2 feet, you can literally just take these and install them right away to create that pattern, that flow of pattern that you want to show. Of course, these are really, really gorgeous styles and we are still looking at the black and white series, popular series. So that's what I wanted to show you over here. So now we are entering our fifth section, fifth category of these amazing, beautiful tiles that you can use for your kitchen backsplashes. This one that we're going to be talking about is the mosaic kitchen backsplash tiles. These are of the size of one by one inch and two by two inches if you look at these these are called as the kit kat tiles i'll quickly talk about them later but what i'm really going to talk about is why do people love mosaic tiles uh, even though there is a higher grouting effort that is needed Grou uh, these particular uh, mosaic tiles are popular because if you really like to play with lot of shapes you know uh, circles and even you know lines in your kitchen you want to have that intricate very very fine work on your kitchen backsplash these are the tiles to go with so very very well recommended for something like you know uh, if you want to do really really interesting or conversation piece kind of a backsplash these are some really good ones this is called as a Kit Kat tile. Let me quickly show you what type of tiles that are there and let's have a quick closer look over here. So when we look at this, you can see it almost appears fluted 
but it's flat on the surface but has a slight embossed finish and they are individual like this now how do you get to know whether you're looking at a mosaic tile is because these are placed on a mesh because it's difficult for you to individually put or the tile layer to put them one 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 so what they do is they are laid on a mesh and then this entire smaller mesh panel bigger mesh panel sorry is then laid on top of the wall and grouted so this is how you will be actually looking at or know that this is a mosaic tile you will see a slight mesh at the back okay so this is a git cat tile let's look at another variety in this kind because there are literally plethora of options of shapes available you have penny tiles you have beautiful hexagons you have colors ranging from white ivory teal beautiful black even i mean look at it so the beauty of these if you want to highlight them even more is go for a contrasting grout if you're using a nice hexagon penny tile over here use a white or even for that matter a metallic grout over here i mean if you're doing something really interesting a slick black kitchen you could really use something a met, like a metal like a maybe a silver or a gold over here you know so a metallic grout will be amazing uh, another one is if you want to go a little bit bigger to highlight right and not make it like a a smaller pattern you can also go for these beautiful blush hexagon uh, mosaic tiles a uh, very very interesting can go with anything from quartz as a as a counter top some very interesting bolder colored uh, kitchen shutters that you can go to complement these as the backsplash so now i'm again showing you a kit kat tile but it's very interesting this time because you will actually see that unlike the first one that i showed you this one has a rustic glaze it's almost like somebody has given it a rustic feel over here so very interesting when you're laying them down you can bring that modernity that artisticness that you are looking for but also with some rustic touches creates a very very good look and also allows you to flow between different kind of shutters you know if you're trying to go for a rustic style uh, something more european you can go for that if you're going for something very slick and modern you can go for that as well both will go for that so great combination to look at so now we are into our sixth category which is the subway tiles and it is impossible to ignore subway tiles when we are speaking about kitchen backsplashes so now let me quickly walk you through in terms of what is really a subway tile if you are new to this particular tile so these are really called as subway tiles uh, and if we look at this particular one this is a little bit uh, white and glossy uh, subway tile which is again a very very popular combination that gets asked for all the time uh, when people walk in for kitchen kitchen backsplashes uh, this is white and glossy if you look at this one this is white but matte finish and they also have a very flat surface if you're looking at the size this is literally the size that we're looking at right now it is called as 100 by 300 mm this size is called as 100 by 300 mm uh, if you would like to go longer in the subway tiles you also get 75 mm uh, by 300 mm i will show you that particular size as well in a bit so let's talk about the varieties that exist in subway uh, when we look at subway tiles uh you know you have uh, subway tiles that are also called as the bevel subway tiles what is a bevel subway tile if you look at over here the subway tile over here has a slight dip over here from the edges so this is what is different from a flat surface to a bevel tile and you'll see that this is almost like a plateau which kind of tapers towards the end this is really what is a sub uh, what is a bevel subway again all these tiles can be stacked in various different uh, you know patterns and that makes it really really versatile they're always evergreen because of this reason so you can lay them in say for example herring bone style so how what is a herring bone is when you keep placing it like this and they almost form like a, a herring bone pattern we have seen it in the earlier uh, uh, earlier part of the video as well uh, you have something called as tack bond which is basically laying them vertically there is basket weave pattern which is you know where you uh, lay them almost like making a square so that's a stack uh, that is a basket weave and then which is a very popular one uh, is also the brick pattern which is basically laying them into bricks here you can see this is a classic brick pattern over here 
let's quickly talk about the longer size which is the 75 mm by 300 mm uh you know a uh, subway tile over here again this is flat surface and you get some very interesting colors in this so you can use them all the time as a kitchen backsplash because of the reason that they have lot of variety in the color one very interesting part is that uh, while these sizes are you know typically needed for an intricate subway tile pattern we can also look at an another option over here if you like a lot of color and lot of amazing uh, prints so this is a one by one we are looking at over here look at this gorgeous it's it's so it's definitely a smaller or it gives an impact or mimics a smaller subway beveled tile can you come a little closer and look at this over here and look at the texture so beautiful right very rustic very interesting some vintage prints going on some floral jungle prints going on over here you see it's alternating with a very rustic uh, pattern print over here again very very uh, you know textural elements are there so you, when you're looking at just it as a backsplash it's not a backsplash it's actually art it's a conversation piece even within the kitchen so kitchens are not supposed to be that boring they should be interesting because we end up spending a lot of time and it, where it is where our food is being made right so we need to look at things that make us feel happy and uh, really really into the space again something very interesting over here look at the beautiful colors something very pretty over here is this nice gorgeous almost giving an ocean like feel i mean look at these patterns over here i am absolutely spellbound looking at some really amazing varieties of tiles that are over here the colors the patterns the sizes you have everything out here to customize the look of your kitchen backsplash so when you're looking at these subway tiles they add so much color and pop you can actually grout them with different popping colors uh, to make them look very interesting if you want to learn a lot in detail about those subway tiles I'm linking that particular uh, YouTube video in the description below. Do go and check it out. We'll also be going and making many uh, more knowledge uh, videos about subways in future. So definitely go ahead and look out for them as well. So now we have spoken a lot in detail about what are subways, what are the applications. I'm going to quickly walk you through some really beautiful imported subway tiles. extremely gorgeous and stunning the patterns that are there let me quickly walk you through these so these are beautiful tiles that you see over here which are boat dune boat caramel some very interesting patterns over here almost like a inverted beveled that you see over here then uh, this is you know nolita grace nolita negro different colors over here almost gives like a handmade finish over here in terms of the tile very very uh, you know textural uh interest that you can actually get a lot of visual interest that can be gathered over here there's one tile that i would definitely like to show you is a picket tile over here so these are beautiful gorgeous there are also a variety of subway tiles again very beautiful kitchen counter tops that you can see over here can be created by using these picket tile uh, picket tiles over here can we quickly zoom in and see over here what we are seeing there's a picture which shows how you can use these picket tiles as a kitchen backsplash so very gorgeous look at the colors you're looking at some beautiful coral indigo malt marfil shadow sage which is an amazingly popular uh, uh, you know color that's going and doing the rounds again now i mean i don't think that you know you would have seen these beautiful varieties over here but just look at this gorgeous fluted ones over here i mean fluted patterns are so in right now whether it is wall panels or tv units or even your decor these play out so beautifully in different different various ways if you are somebody who likes a lot of scandinavian modern these are gorgeous to look at this one is again my personal favorite over here which are these oval subway tiles the colors the blush the maroons the sage steel everything whites really really stunning combinations can be laid out vertically to create a beautiful pattern like this for your uh, dining or even utility space right so again very nice uh, kitchen backsplash it can play out again we are looking at some very nice textural ones i think these are 75 by 300s 
looks like as if they have been hand glazed and handmade tiles so gives that impact very very nice beautiful imported subway tiles and if you are somebody who loves patterns and prints even on a subway which is a minimalistic tile you can go for these really gorgeous velvet brown glossy tiles that are here look at these beautiful mustards blue steels blushes i mean the color options are driving me totally crazy because this is something that you really want to come and see right we always get stuck at colors so the variety of options that you see over here are great these are flat faced ones again what we had seen over there in white and matte and glossy finishes these are all glossy gorgeous 76 by 300 6 mm tiles very nice colors look at the pastels you even have a beautiful purple out there so gorgeous one here you will see very vintage finish rustic finish that's available over here so again something that you would like to go for uh, if you're going for something very you know old time you can definitely go for these here if you want to mimic that subway pattern but in a smaller you know size you can go for these these are actually 2 by 1 uh, but you know you will have these subway pattern effect over here black white deeper blues nice blushes so many options uh, my favorites are these i really love them how they play out you know you can alternate these bevel kind of finish that you see or an embossed finish that you see over here versus uh, you know with this particular one which is a flat faced and actually create something which is a little bit uneven and very very interesting visually so you will see these colors are also there green teal navy blue black amazing tiles over here Uh, so this is what we are looking at in terms of variety if you come to my tiles you will really be spoiled for choice because you have so many options but we are making it really easy for you to look at for these top varieties that really get called out by the clients and being asked for when they are over here so now we are on to the seventh category of the beautiful tiles that we have been talking about for backsplash this is the terrazzo tile terrazzo tiles are again very very interesting though they look like these little beautiful spots of colors over here they actually are really good if you like a minimal and a complementary look say for example for your buja style uh, you know counter tops or solid a uh, matte finished uh, uh you know cabinet shutters that you would like to complement them so you can definitely use these they come in 2 by 4 or 2 by 4 and then there is 1 by 1 uh, from a shape perspective if you would like to look at something it will be these kind of hexagons also that you can look at as far as these terrazzo tiles are concerned very interesting pattern Uh, something very very stylish and minimal if you'd like to go for them so one thing which i wanted to really highlight to you is if you look at these colors that are there right you can actually draw these out in terms of your solid color cabinets in the same color palette and match them with this solid vitrified cabinets also countertops also look really good uh, against these beautiful backsplashes so you have so many options to use these beautiful terrazzo tiles they are really really pinterest worthy tiles so they've been going all over the place you can have a look and get inspired and come here and shop for these so now we're entering the phase of the eighth category that i wanted to show you over here this is the highlighter tile uh, if you look at closely you will over here you will see that there is these silver grout lines that have been created they are 1 by 2 in size but you have these beautiful patterns with the grout lines created so it actually saves a lot of effort uh, you know grouting wise and they look really gorgeous a lot of people actually do like bling in their kitchens so this is something that they actually can bring as a part of kitchen backsplashes very very interesting patterns you know you have a stretched hexagon then you have these hexagons over here i'm going to quickly walk you through these over here see over here again a very contemporary design that you can see over here this is something which actually gives you a smaller brick kind of or a smaller square that is put together but highlighted using a metallic grout line almost like a faux or a fake grout line that has been created over here so here again we are looking at something similar so now we are looking at another variety of highlighter tiles over here very interesting ceramic tiles uh, you know can be applied in the kitchen uh, if you like that little bit of bling coming through this is a very nice tile to look at you can actually 
प्लेस दीज यू नो पीसेज इन डिफरेंट यू नो जक्सटा पोजिशन दैम टू क्रिएट अ नाइस ब्यूटिफुल पैटर्न सो दिस इज वन कैटेगरी आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू वन अदर वन विच आई रियली लाइट वॉज दिस काइंड ऑफ अ फ्लोरल और बोटेनिकल पैटर्न दैट यू सी ओवर हियर वेरी नाइसली पेड एंड यूज अगेंस्ट अ सिमिलर कलर टोन लाइक अ वेरी लाइट ग्रीन and then you see a darker green also that you can place in against it if you like to highlight it with that particular green this is something very interesting a little bit more abstract and modern over here again a kitchen backsplash tile that can be used a very interesting pattern uh, you know something that you can actually introduce in the kitchen uh, maybe in a white or an off white kitchen very nice it will look with that little glitter coming through so again a similar type of tile and uh, you can use it this is a uh, uh, you know like a, almost like a polka dot kind of a metallic uh, motif over here if you will i kind of makes it looks very interesting uh, so if you like little bit of extra bling you can definitely go for these in your kitchen so now we are looking at the ninth option which is my favorite option it's the glass highlighter tiles very very interesting unique tiles also of the premium category so these are basically tiles that are vitrified tiles with a layer of glass on top therefore it makes them reflective uh, and to create that interest and uh, you know that design aesthetic they are also lined by or fake uh, you can say ground lines that are created by using metallic accents over here so if you see over here these are some very interesting glass tiles these are without metallic ground lines but again something very very reflective uh, there's another one which you can which you can see over here is the uh, again another glass uh, you know uh, tile glass highlighter tile over here very interesting looking some of these are extremely reflective as well if you see this one over here very very interesting tiles right so many beautiful patterns and you know reflecting like gold glass over here very interesting ones if we come closer over here you will be able to see this gorgeous tile very slick beautiful black and gold combination this one is again a uh, opposite of that which is ivory with a lot of gold over here very very uh, reflective and you know if you if you probably have really good led under cabinet lights that are installed this could reflect and look so beautiful especially in the evenings or during a little bit of a gloomier day you would love to use these tiles to make your kitchen look very unique stylish glamorous for that matter so great application in kitchens with these beautiful glass highlighter tiles so another beautiful thing that i wanted to tell you about these tiles is that if you look at here and you come closer you'll see that there is a layer of glass on top of this vitrified tile and it's been highlighted by using different beautiful metallic grout lines over here great combination and also a very very premium piece now because these tiles are so premium they are expensive on the expensive side but you have to understand that what are you really going to be using it for in terms of square footage so the kitchen backsplashes are typically around 40 uh, square feet uh, but if it's even a slightly on the higher side the effect in the look of these tiles is not going to make you regret your decision so this is something that you can definitely opt for especially if you like that glam in your kitchen and you want to really adorn your walls in the kitchen with these backsplashes with some beautiful down lights or track lights or led lights you're really going to have a beautiful beautiful uh, you know reflective kitchen with some amazing lighting so now we're finally into the 10th section of you know kitchen backsplash tiles that we wanted to show you and we are now going to be talking about fluted tiles fluted tiles are really charming because of their clean lines and ceramic texture uh, it makes them really really unique you can get them in rectangular as well as square shapes like the tile and uh, they vary from different sizes 3 by 12 12 by 12 12 by 18 uh, 12 uh, uh, you know 24 by 24 so various sizes these are available in 
so a lot of plethora of options in terms of you which size you would like to pick them up and uh, install them in your kitchen as your kitchen backsplash very very interesting uh, you know you say especially in scandinavian or mid century modern kind of kitchens very interesting applications that you will have look at the options of colors that are available we are looking at something from a very pastel and subtle uh, like a blush or a brown to teal to you know different blues and lovely mustards that you can see you can also pair them with some bold cabinetry with say white or off white uh, fluted tiles that are available in the market so this is something which is very interesting so now we are looking at the hexagonal uh, you know backsplash kitchen backsplashes uh, this is the 11th section of what we wanted to showcase to you today so very interesting hexagonal tiles uh the reason that they are so charming is because uh they are laid out in a honeycomb or a beehive pattern uh, and therefore they really uh, you know attract the visual interest of a person who walks into that room Over here just so come closer and look at it very interesting ones they are not restricted by tones and textures you have so many varieties in terms of textures in terms of colors patterns Let's have a look at them quickly. So now we are going to walk you through some really interesting patterns, colors, and what are the options that are available for hexagonal tiles as the kitchen backsplash. So let's look at these very uh, nature-oriented, nature-inspired, uh, you know, hexagon patterns that you see over here. Botanical, some very nice, almost like sea blue sea color that is there. Uh, very very beautiful to be used as backsplashes if you like something which is nature inspired in your kitchen you can definitely go for these another one that i would like to show you is the rustic finishes over here that you can see over here uh, very interesting textural elements you know patterns that have been drawn out and then uh, you know sort of alternated with something which is more solid uh, many colors that you can see over here three four colors that you have to choose from some bolder choices like red also blue green teal green and mustard over here let me show you something more over here if you like something more detailed in the hexagonal pattern you can also go for picket fence tiles these are really nice interesting hexagonal pattern looking ones but uh, they are slightly sleeker so if you like that detail that you want to see in your backsplash you can go for these as well very interesting ones uh, again available in different colors different applications that you can have uh, you can lay them in horizontal and vertical patterns as well with this we come to the end of another episode if you want to look for product links they are linked all in the description below subscribe to our channel to know when are we posting new updates new videos like and share so that others can also know until the next episode i'm going to say a bye bye and ciao to you